Golden Hand We Come, Christopher Robin and I to lay the spook in your lap. Say you're surprised. Say you like it. Say it's just what you wanted. Because it's yours. Because we love you. Once upon a time, a very long time ago, there was a boy named Christopher Robin who liked to play in the forest called the Hundred Acre Woods. Some are small, some are really, really tall, and from different, which is kind of cool when you think about it. Say something. Larf. Oh, it was you. Looks like it's about half past breakfast. I suppose it is time for a snack. Apple pie tastes care of his tummy. He fills it with things that are sweet. Larf, larf, larf. Apple pie tastes care of his tummy.
some honey lying around, just enough for a small snack, Carol, or maybe a large morsel. <laughs> Here's something, something kind of rumbly. That's my tummy. Really? You're right. Oh, shucks. I thought something more exciting than that. Do you happen to have any honey on you, Tigger? Nah, unless I bounce to some. Although I kind of got something sticky on my tail earlier. It's just if you want it. Thank you. No, but I'll hold that until I find some honey. Suit yourself. Can you help me find some? Loved poo. But I'm busy looking for something myself. What are you looking for? What tigers love most, adventure. I'll let you know when I find some. If you happen to find any honey on the way to the adventure, you'll be the first to know. Quarter to lunch time now. I bet Christopher Robin has some honey. He always has a snack or two for Pooh. Christopher Robin, you ho, it's Pooh. Pooh looked really sad for a moment. Then he decided that if he knocked, maybe Christopher Robin would hear him. The knocking made him not fall to the ground to ride at Pooh's feet. To your left. No, Pooh, your other left. Pooh was very puzzled by the note. Well, it is a very puzzling note. Hello, Pooh. Hello there, Piglet. Say, Piglet, you haven't got any honey on, honey on you. Have you? Why? Do you see some? No, I was just hoping. What's that you've got in your hand, Pooh? It's a very puzzling note. Maybe you should take it to Rabbit. He's very good at puzzles. This is what I was thinking. That isn't what Pooh was thinking at all. Hey! Well, it wasn't Pooh. But since it was a very good idea, Plan Pig at the went to Red's house to see what thought of the passing note. Blurb. Rabbit is quite good at puzzles. She'll tell us just what this means. Blurb, blurb, blurb. Wish I could be good at puzzles. Maybe if I ate my grease. Blurb, blurb, blurb. Once Rabbit's done with this puzzle, figure out this note. It's a bit puzzling. Well, as you know, I'm very good at puzzles. That's what we thought. Say, Rabbit, why are you thinking? Uh, why are you pausing at the note? Would you happen to have any honey? I and Piglet could snack up? Honey, honey, honey. I'm afraid I'm fresh out of honey poo. I was afraid you say that. Well, let's see this puzzle of yours. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, it's a good kind of puzzle? Not the kind where you've lost a piece and can't find it for the longest time? What are you talking about, poo? This is horrible. This is simply terrifying. What does it say? I don't know. 
Then why is it terrifying? Because, because... I'll, let, I'll explain to you why it's terrifying. So Pooh, Piglet, and Rabbit set out for Owl's house with a puzzling and terrifying note. Hmm. Excuse me, Owl, but is that a good noise or a bad noise? It's an I'm thinking kind of noise, Pooh. Oh, say, Owl, why are you thinking? Do you happen to have any honey? Honey never touch that stuff. It clogs the arteries and slows the mental process. But it tastes so good, Owl. Hush up and let Owl think, Pooh. Gone out, Baxson. Busy Baxson. Signed, Christopher Robin. Do you know what this means? That's why I came to you, Owl. I tried to explain to them while it was terrifying. What does the note mean, Owl? This note means that that Christopher Robin has been captured by a creature called the Baxson. Oh! I knew it. Did that tell us terrifying, Pooh? Did I tell you? But what's a Baxson, Owl? A Baxson is malicious. It's ferocious. Does it it take much? Stop the clock, they use their horse to put holes in your sock. The Baxson, the one who's been pulling all your socks. Do you know who's terrifying? You know, so everyone in the world, through Christopher Robin, has a kidnapped by the Baxson. You're probably her first legs. The first ones, they ran into a kanga and real, real as much more my side and scared. But what does the Baxson do, Owl? Yes, Owl, what does the Baxson do? Hey, so why is everybody so unbouncy? Because we're all in danger. Danger, that's tea. If there's nothing to go like better than danger, where's, where's danger? Let me add it. And so the animals told Tigger about the danger. The terrible danger. The terrible, horrible danger. The terrible, horrible danger they're all in because of the Baxson. Christopher Robin. So they turned to Owl as the past plan of them all. Owl, we're waiting. A plan. Hmm, a plan. This will require some very serious thought. Let me retire to my library and uh, research the question. Oh dear, I need to go and hide. We're going to hide, Rabbit! If I told you, Pill, it wouldn't be hiding. Now would it? So the animals swimmed and hid, waiting to learn Owl's great plan. Then Pooh came up with a plan of his own. I did? Yes, you did, Pooh. Oh, is it a clever plan? The cleverest you've ever had. Good! So Pooh went and explained his clever plan to Piglet. We're going to dig a hole in the ground and trap the bags in. That's a very clever plan, Pooh. I've been told it's the cleverest I've ever had. But once bags in the pit, won't he just walk around it? Hmm, that's a very good point, Piglet. Maybe we could hide the pit and make it look like something Baxon like. You mean like a jar of honey? 
ハーニっ<笑>
sounds like we kept your whole family up back soon. Oh my, maybe we should leave them there. They don't sound very happy. We have to find Christopher Robin Piglet. Of course, but let's at least stay back here where the Baxen can't see us. Good idea, Piglet. Baxen! <laughs> They're Baxen's, all right. I told you. We've been trapped by Baxen's. Baxen's, we surrender! The Baxen's are surrendering, Pooh. That's good. Help us out so that we can discuss the terms of our surrender. That Baxen sounds an awful lot like... Owl. He does, doesn't he? I suppose we better help them out so they can use to Christopher Robin. Oh! Pooh, what are you doing pretending to be a Baxin? I wasn't pretending to be a Baxin. What are you doing in our Baxin trap? Your Baxin trap? We dug it to trap the Baxin. And it seems like you've trapped every animal in the wood except for the Baxen. The animal sat and tried to think of a way out of the pit. Which was not a very nice place to be. No, it's not. Flar. I know, it's practically afternoon snack time. So Pooh tried to think to keep his mind off his growing tummy. Thinking is hard. So Pooh tried remembering instead. He remembered a song Christopher Robin used to sing to him. themselves up to make a staircase. Oh my, everybody look! We can climb out! I could bounce us out if I just got the running spot. Let's just get ourselves out of here before the real box finds us. they coming through the wood. Baxen! But it wasn't the Baxen after all. It was their friend, Christopher Robin. Hello? Anybody there? Where is everyone? There you are. Christopher Robin! Hello there, fool. However, do you escape from the Baxen? What's a Baxen? He wakes up children. He pulls out the light. He rips your pants. If you wear a pen, stick a salt. It is without a doubt the most wretched creature one could ever encounter. We thought he'd kidnapped you. Why would you think that? Because of this. Oh, all I meant to say is I was busy and that I will be back soon. Oh. So there really is no monster. And we were scared for nothing? It figures. Don't blame me. It was I who was about the Baxins. 
Perhaps I could have reviewed the document a bit more carefully, as my niece Leticia would say, sorry. I guess even owls can make mistakes, but at this, we got Christopher Robbie back again. For not for long, I'm afraid. Afraid? I knew it was too good to be true. It is going to run on soon, and I'll be going to school, so that means I won't have much time to play with you as I used to. Forever? Not forever, Ru. I'll stay night and weekends, and when next summer comes around, we'll spend every day together. But next summer is a long way away. Lots of breakfast and lunch times. And afternoon snacks away. But school hasn't started yet, Pooh, and that's why I came here out today, so we could have won that summer picnic. Yay! A picnic! Christopher Robin and the animals set out a picnic. They were all really excited because it was a really cool picnic. It was even better than the one I had for my birthday. Everyone brought something to share, including lemonade and cookies and raspberry tarts. Excuse me? Yes, Pooh? Haven't you forgotten something? I don't think so, Pooh. I'm sorry, Pooh. My mother was all out of honey. Oh, bother. Maybe someone else has some honey. I've asked all of my friends. <laughs> Have you asked them? The bees? I never thought they'd be willing to share. Maybe they'll if we invite them to our picnic. Hey, bees? Yes? Would you like to come to our picnic? Sure, bees love picnics. Should we bring anything? Maybe some honey? Anything for our friends. Aren't you forgotten something, Pooh? Honey for everyone! Hip 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 hooray! We're gathered here today To eat some cake and say A hip hip hooray for our food bear The masses all are gone Our picnic's on the lawn Come along and have a treat Escape from the vaccine trap. I remember a song we used to sing to me, and we helped each other out. Help each other out, what friends are supposed to do when they're not having really great picnic, that is. Old friends.